for us. Tom, it's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? Certainly this was a bitter pill for many people to swallow. Just sitting there up in the press gallery watching this statement unfold, I was looking at the faces of Conservative MPs, uh, pretty sullen as they were. The benches uh, full of people, two former Prime Ministers sitting there as well, looking not best pleased through it all. In fact, one of the only moments really that got a cheer was when uh, the Chancellor announced that that triple lock on pensions was staying at the cost of £11 billion. Now, uh, overall, this budget is something that raises taxes on just about everyone and indeed promises to cut spending into the future as well. Although one slight intrigue about it is that the bulk of the spending cuts are not scheduled to come about until after 2024. Now, why would that be? Well, a cynic might say that the next election is in 2024, or so we believe, and uh, the biggest spending cuts may therefore come after that election. The Treasury themselves say that due to the economic situation, the fact that the OBR now says the United Kingdom is most most likely in recession, that it would be wrong to deliver so much fiscal tightening at this stage and the recovery needs to be weighted before those uh, big spending cuts come about. But certainly a tightening of budgets just about everywhere apart from the health department and the education department, which are seeing larger than real terms increases in spending. But everywhere else is seeing belts tightened and particularly 55% of households as you mentioned, will see the distributional impact of this negatively affect them. That means they'll get less in terms of state services and pay more in terms of tax.